feeling tonight? That was scary. That was a true that Halloween was a episode. True Halloween. We all we got spooked. Uh, I it was tough yeah. because I really feel like I'm improving, and then things like this happen, and you know the lowest scores, even lowest scores, even if I had won the dance off, would still be the lowest. So it was like I don't know if demoralizing, but it was disappointing because I really wanted to do better, and this was I think a dance where we could have you know, shown more dancing like they wanted, so. I, I think Ilona actually danced really well tonight. I think the judges' scores, even if they're they're fair, I feel like they were a little harsh just because she's improved so much, you know? Well, I, I, but I don't... Maybe a yeah. Maybe yeah. one night. We'll, we'll take a night. We'll, we'll take a night. We'll take a single but night. But I truly believe Ilona did so well this dance, you know? It, she's improved so much. Her footwork was on point she didn't miss a step her frame was incredible and so it's just a little discouraging but i think we realize how grateful we are to still be here we appreciate the fan vote so much and we're grateful that we get another chance thank you thank you you may have not gotten your tins here in the bar room but you definitely got your tin serving as cover girl on this people magazine cover shout out to that she looked incredible Thank you so Very much. Uh, that was so fun. I love slipping those roles and like getting to see somebody like me in the role with Marilyn and Julia Roberts. Whatever. So it was that was a really fun shoot. I love the pictures. Audrey Hepburn, I want someone to like compare me to Audrey Hepburn. So. so good. I mean, you are having a Hollywood moment from the the um, the gymnastics. I'm sorry, from the Olympics to now Dance with the Stars. Do you feel like you're? <laughs> do you feel like you're having a Hollywood moment? Um. In some ways it does. I think this is something I've been preparing for for though since like Tokyo I've been posting. So it never feels out of ordinary. I think what's so great is I have people around me who keep me very grounded. So my sisters, my agent, my friends, this guy <laughs> keeps me real grounded. So I never feels crazy to me. Like it just feels like almost a natural progression of things because I have been working for this. I've been posting and sharing my message for years now. So I'm happy that people are catching up and and people like People are like, oh, I love how you're so positive. It's like, oh, it's just me being me, and I think people really resonate with it. Okay. Um, people called you America's sweetheart, and I think when we watch you on this dance floor, I think that's what keeps the people voting because you are America's sweetheart. Do you accept that title? How do you wear that crown? You know, I, it's so funny because I don't, I would never picture, I guess, someone like me as America's sweetheart, but I will take that on. <laughs> I think I've always sometimes been afraid of the term like role model or sweetheart because think people think of like perfect and I'm, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. So I also want people to remind people of that, that I am human. And it is with this fame or whatever it is comes, you know, so much more added pressure. Uh, but I do, I will accept the title. Sorry, I'll accept the title. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, Alice, I read that you said the DMs are open. You're waiting for the guys to slide in. But I have to know, you must be playing Cupid or matchmaker for my girl here because you know her better than the rest of us. I already know too much. I know you too know much. too much. <laughs> the thing is, we're playing he's matchmaker. the best matchmaker, though. He doesn't know. We both don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we said this. We, that would be great, but, like, we're, we're, I'm training constantly, like, seven days a week, so I don't have a lot of time to go do things. Um, I, but maybe. Starting in the new year. Yeah. Once 2025 hits, I'm yeah. going to be wiped out. That is. Put that out there. That's manifestation, right? I'm manifesting yeah. that. <laughs> wiped out with a mirror ball. Yes. Hopefully. Manifest that. <laughs> Let's put a billion dollars out there, too. I don't know. What else? Can we throw some. <laughs> now, you've also been him as a lifesaver. This nail salon situation. Give me the details on that. What happened? It was just a simple interaction in a way. Like, I just got my toenails done. I was the last one in there. And I just remember, I was like, this took nail polish must be really bad because it was taking forever. They're like, just wait. I'm like, well, all right. I'm going to keep waiting, ladies. She put my flip-flops on. She's like, five minutes. I was like, poof. I gotta get gel from now on, so I'm waiting there. And then he, the guy leaves, and then the girls are just like, you know, sorry, but we wanted to keep you there for our safety. And I was like, I think as women, like, oh, that's fine. You could have kept me there as longer. And I wasn't mad at all. I was waiting. I was like, all right, I guess this is where I'm at. I, I'm TikToking or whatever. So I think um, my message is that I'm a very big, strong woman. I play rugby. I consider myself very tough. I consider myself imposing. And there's even a threat to me. And so... I think it's just so important to be smart and be safe. And if 
you're ever feeling unsafe, I'm telling you a woman will come to your aid and be with you. And a lot of men will, too. I, Alan, if, if, if you need safety, ask Alan. Alan is one of those men. It's not, you know, as I said, it's not all men, but it's, and Alan is truly one of those who will protect you and, and make you feel comfortable. So, This is why you're America's sweetheart. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Vigilante. Vigilante.